The saddest end to a relationship is one where you have to break up with somebody when you're still in love with them. It sounds bizarre, but it happens. Because the truth is, as powerful and as thrilling and as wonderful as it may be, love isn't always enough. And to be in love doesn't always mean you're happy. You can continue to love someone even after they've hurt you. But you know deep inside yourself that it won't ever be the same again. Nigga, what? How to cut her off and go to a no contact. That's what we get ready to talk about. But before we get to it, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and definitely the notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. All right, one of the most asked questions, not the most, is how do I cut off someone that I don't want to be with? Perfectly, we're talking about men now, how a man can cut off a woman. And the reason why I'm making this video is because this is something that men have a hard time doing, is cutting off of a woman, especially due to the fact that men do not get to, don't have as many choices as women do whenever it comes to dating options. But you do have guys out there that are in relationships where they are not happy and they want to leave because they're fed up with how the woman is acting or the chemistry has died out as well. But either way, someone is always looking to break another person's heart. So theoretically, I'm going to be teaching you how to break someone's heart intentionally, but you need to do it because you're becoming miserable being in the relationship. Let's get to it. First, you have to have a game plan. What do I mean you have to have a game plan? You have to know exactly when you're gonna tell them that you wanna break it up. At the same time, you must be prepared to cut off everything. What do I mean? You must be prepared to cut off social media, um, phone contacts, and friends who are mutual. And the reason why you have to cut off those friends who are mutual is because they can keep the drama going by constantly bringing up old things or constantly reminding you what she's doing. Even if you block her on social media and you're still following one of her friends, then that's a chance that she may post something that her and your ex-girlfriend is doing and that's gonna bring up more memories. So you have to be prepared to not only cut her off from all social media, but you have to cut off the mutual friends just to turn off the energy. You have to realize you're getting ready to go into a whole nother life. You're getting ready to go into a whole different meaning. So you need to start thinking about what you value the most and going into your next life that you're starting to build, what type of people you want around you. When you get in relationships, you start to build a bond in different ways with different people, especially with other couples that may cause you to have more couple friends than friends that are genuine to you. So you must understand, be prepared to cut off not only her from social media, but you have to cut off everybody that is connected to her too, that have a chance of bringing up old memories. You have to cut it off. After a while, the energy and the emotion will leave. Next, you have to have someone to talk to because you're gonna need somebody to look at the pros and cons of the relationship while you're breaking off the relationship. And then when the relationship is broken, you're gonna need to go and talk to that person to express to them how you feel. The worst thing that you could do is to get out of a relationship with someone and not have anyone to talk to. It's only gonna make you feel lonely and you may find yourself trying to be back into that relationship just to keep from feeling alone. So make sure that you have somebody next to you that you can trust to listen to your problems. That way you're not holding all this weight onto you. The more you hold on that stress, the more it's gonna eat away at you physically. But you do need someone next to you that can give you the true honest opinion. That's the main thing. So I recommend don't go to family members at all. You need to find a stranger that you can talk to that you may have known for a little bit of time, someone that's not going to be biased towards your emotions. You need to have someone that's gonna be on the outside looking in. So if you have an ignorant friend that don't mind speaking their mind, and they're the friend that you don't like to say stuff to because they're gonna blabber something out that you don't like, you go talk to that person about your relationship so they can give you an honest opinion as you get all the dead weight off your shoulder. You have to be communicative in order to keep from thinking about it. You have to get it out of you. So make sure you got somebody in play that you're gonna talk to as soon as the relationship is over. Next, you have to have a day planner. You have to have your weeks already planned in advance. That way your schedule is filled up 
when you go to a no contact, the biggest problem that you're gonna have is facing yourself. You're gonna be fighting yourself. You're not gonna necessarily be fighting her. Women know how to get over relationships fast. Now, if you're breaking it off and she just head over heels for you, yes, it's gonna be some problems, but the next guy is gonna feel that. But for you, you have to sustain and break the dopamine releases that you may have. She may have been annoyed. You may be ready to walk away from the relationship, but you're still used to her being in your life. So one thing that you have to do is you have to be prepared to walk away. So have a day planner. I'm breaking up with her on Monday. Tuesday, I'm starting karate classes. Thursday, I'm starting this. Friday, I'm starting this. And then next week, I'm doing this. The next day, I'm doing that. Every day after the breakup, you need to already have planned for things for you to do that keeps you distracted so you don't relapse on your decisions. It's easy to say I don't like her no more because she says something that you don't like or she been bullying you or the relationships died. It's all good when you're screaming for help to get out, but it's hard when you get out the relationship and then you start to miss her because you don't have anything else going on. So next thing you know, all the social media that you blocked now you unblocking it. Now you're trying to go see what you're missing out on. You eventually go back to it if you don't have any distractions. So understand from the day that you plan that you're gonna break up, you're gonna go to a no contact, you're gonna cut off all social media, and you're gonna cut off all connections with her, you must first be prepared to have your days planned to keep you distracted so you don't relapse. This is the most important thing. You must go through a time period where you do not see her at all in order for this to bleed out of your system and you no longer thinking about it. The hardest process of a breakup is moving forward, not the actual actions, because people could break up with someone just off of an emotional action, but to disconnect all the emotions and spirit from them, move on with your life, that's a different ball game. Oh, next, you gotta go on a mini break from yourself. All right, you must go on a mini break. Like Jack. Hey, come here, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, he's over there. That dog, but my dog's deaf, so we gotta give him hand signals. All right, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna go on a mini break. And the reason why you wanna go on a mini break that's because you got to clear your head. You see how I'm out here just walking around? All right, this is where I come and clear my head. Typically, people don't walk their dogs up here but me, but you do have people that walk their dogs. But you got to go somewhere like this, and you have to clear your head, especially getting back into nature. Nature releases a lot of stress, depression, and it clears your brain. That's why they always have pictures of nature up. When you go get massages, they always have like the nature playing in the background to soothe your brain to get the vibrating frequencies and your body moving right. So find a place like this, like where I'm at, you know, I normally go walk through this every day, rain, sleet, or snow, clear my head before I film. Find you a spot like this that you could disappear for a little bit of time so you could think things out. The quicker you think things out, the less depressed that you're going to be. Too many people put themselves in emotional situations because they're getting sick of the pain, but they don't have an outlet. And then after a while, they find themselves reverting back to that person trying to fix the relationship. Hey man, what happens when you take your ex back? Hey, my ex keep calling me. You start going through those phases. You don't want to go through those phases. So have your outlet so you're clear that this is the decision that you want to make. And another thing, last but not least, don't let someone else make the decision for you. That's going to be big too. Don't go ask somebody else if you should break up with her. You know if you want to or not if you're asking the question. Don't go ask other people what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to do it. I'm giving you the advice now. So you go sit by yourself, find a place like this, and you decide how you're going to come up with your game plan. Because obviously if you're watching this video, you're not happy in the relationship that you're in. And it's time for you to get out. But you have to have your game plan and you have to be prepared to cut off all social media, including your mutual friends and her mutual friends. As you get older, you will notice your friends will be people that's part of your hobbies. You ain't got no hobbies. Then you just gonna have a life full of drama. Find yourself at the bar, following problematic people around, and your life just ain't gonna be going the way you wanna go. When you sit back and plan what you wanna do, 
your actions are better because you'll be held accountable for them. Hopefully I was able to answer the question, um, how to go to a non, no contact and how to break up with your girl. Remember, plan it and then set plans to distract you from the emotion till you get over it. Or you're gonna be watching the next video if I should take my ex back. Hasta la vista.